Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here. I'm in the middle of four cigar box guitar builds and I wanted to show you them and actually get your opinion and your input on one of them because I'm, um, I don't want to say lacking some ideas, but I, uh, I'm just curious to know what you might think. Um, give me some of your ideas. First off here, I wanted to show you one of these guys that I've been working on for a long, 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 long time. Notice that little Fender logo on there? Isn't that awesome? Look at the stain on this guy here. And notice these inlays here. That is turquoise embedded in epoxy. This neck has been worked over and over and over. And I just keep procrastinating on this guy. I don't know why, but this one's gonna be freaking awesome once it ever finally gets done. Here's the box. And you can see it's just covered in dust. And uh, so anyhow, this is gonna be um, a pucka caster. Uh, the next guitar, three string cigar box guitar I'm working on is another one of these license plate, similar to the Faith box here. This one is going to be a blessed box. So it's gonna be a 23 inch scale neck, um, scarf joint, and so I'm letting, this will be my next thing that I actually do work on. Next up is another railroad tie. This one here, um, this neck here is built from a railroad tie. And this is actually a one piece. You can see right here, there's the heel. There's not two pieces glued together. This is actually one piece. You can see the, the grain there going through the heel. And working with railroad ties is very difficult because you really have to like figure out where to make it smooth and where not to make it smooth. Obviously the top, I wanted to leave it alone so that the, the tar, the creosote, the dirt, the oil, the smell of the train track comes through. So I wanna leave that alone. And it, it's gonna be a slider, so you're not gonna be actually coming in contact with that anyway. But the back of it has to be smooth so that you can play and slide on it. So it's not a scarf joint, but it is just carved back to give you the uh, the effects of a scarf joint but it's still like i said it's just a one piece so uh, the box that this is going to be paired with it's a uh, gluing the uh, glue is drying right now so i don't want to mess it up too much but it's one of these avo boxes which are awesome boxes for cigar box guitars because they're solid wood and they just have an awesome resonance so that's going to be um one of the coolest cigar box guitars ever. All right, now, this is where I need your input and your opinion. So, with the 4th of July coming up, I wanted to make another one of these Made in America style. Um, can't really call this a cigar box guitar because it's not really a cigar box. But I did get one of these uh, neck fretboards from CB Giddy. This one does have a scarf with wings and it's been uh, carved and I'm in the process of sanding it smooth and contouring it and stuff like that. I'm actually going to put frets in here. So these things come fretless with just the wire with just the uh, lines. I went ahead and cut in there. So I'm going to put frets on this guy. So it's not just going to be a slider. And I got this guy at a... Um, uh, I forgot where I got this thing in one of those Joanne types of places, whatever. Um, so I don't know what to do with this thing here. Do I stain it? Do I paint it? Do I leave it alone? Do I oil it? Do I put stickers on it? I'm just, I don't know. I want to make it cool, but not presumptuous. I want it to be organic and not forced. I want it to be just cool to the bone without me working too hard to make it cool. You know what I'm saying? So if you have any ideas 
um, throwing my way. And um, I will definitely consider all ideas. Don't get, don't be upset if I don't use your ideas. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm going to ask my wife what is her idea as well. And I might have to go with her ideas just to kind of keep peace in the um, in the family, so to speak. No, but seriously, I, I do want your opinions and stuff like that. Um, I actually have another one, um, another one of these necks laying around here too. I got some more of these. Um, so if I don't use your idea on this one here, maybe I'll use it on this one or this one here. This is like an old cutting board I found. And this is just a piece of metal. So I do have, and where I wish I could find that other neck laying around here somewhere. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's drying. Hang on one second. Here it is. So I have another one. So, so seriously, give me your ideas on what I can do to make that thing not just cool, but super cool. All right, and I will leave you with a little riff on this little guitar here. This guitar here is... Oh my gosh, this, sound, this is another one of those AVO boxes. I'm telling you, these AVO boxes, they have, um, they have mojo. forward to your comments in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.